September 8, 1429. French heroine Joan of Arc, a peasant girl who believed she was acting under divine guidance, attempted to oust the Duke of Burgundy and take Paris for the newly crowned King Charles VII. 1781. American troops commanded by General Nathaniel Green defeated British forces under Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Stewart in the Battle of Utah Springs during the American Revolution. 1930. The American company 3M began marketing trans transparent adhesive tape which we now know as scotch tape. 1945, at the end of World War II, the first U.S. troops entered the Korean Peninsula south of the 38th parallel to receive the Japanese surrender. North of the parallel, Japanese troops surrendered to Soviet forces. 1965, small ads placed in the Daily Variety and the Hollywood Reporter attract 437 young men interested in forming the world's first manufactured boy band. The band would be called the Monkees, and three of these young men were chosen, along with Davy Jones, who had already been cast. 1966, Star Trek premieres on NBC TV, starring William Shatner and Leonard Nimoy, and it takes watchers where no one has gone before. 1974, Richard Nixon, who had resigned as the U.S. President on August the 8th, 1974, was pardoned by his successor, Gerald Ford. 1998, Mark McGuire of the St. Louis Cardinals broke Roger Maris's 1961 record for the most home runs in a regular professional baseball season. McGuire hit his 62nd of the season on this day, and he finished the season with 70 home runs. 2015, American comedian Stephen Colbert debuted as the host of The Late Show, replacing David Letterman. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, September the 8th, in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching.